We have learned about the Google Cloud buckets in the previous section. That was using the web GUI. In this lab exercise, we will learn about the GSUtil tool, which is the command line for cloud buckets using the cloud SDK platform. We will create buckets, load and download data, and see the bucket's content using the cloud SDK. So to start with the cloud bucket, we first see the cloud buckets we have already created under our project. For this, we write gsutil ls Here you see the output. This gives the list of our available cloud buckets. Here we have the bucket name bq bucket 1. Now we will create a new bucket for the same project. In order to create a bucket, we write gsutil and then mb. The mb command is to make bucket. You can also take help from the official document of Google on GSUtil. Here it shows the syntax to create a new bucket, GSUtil mb c near line and the bucket name. So, what is near line? If we go to its reference, so we can see near line option is selected when you want to save the bucket in your storage for 30 days. Other thing is the dash C option. If you scroll down the document, you will see that it is used to specify the storage classes type. If not used, the default storage class will be standard. Coming back to the command line interface, we write gsutil mb-c near line and then we will write the bucket name. So I want to create a unique bucket name as my first SDK bucket. press enter so the new bucket is created let's see if this bucket appears in our search list we type gsutil ls and press enter it shows we have two buckets now let us now upload a data set so to upload the data, we have the copy command, in short is cp. Here in the help, you can see the syntax for this command. If you see here, there is a syntax for cp. You can copy the dataset or any file from the local machine to the bucket or download the bucket data to your local PC. Let's perform the data load and download using the SDK command line. For this, I have already copied the file yob1880 in the root folder of Google SDK. It is the same file with the baby names for 2019, but this is for the 1880s. So I will upload this data set to the new bucket we have just created. For this, we will write gsutil cp and the file name that is yob1880.txt. This is the file in the local machine and copy it to the bucket, my first SDK bucket. It can be seen that the operation is completed and the file is copied to this bucket. Now we will download the same file to our local directory. For this we will write a gsutil cp 
path from where to copy the file uh, which is js my first sdk bucket and the file name yob1880.txt press enter um i have made a typo it was cp and mistakenly i typed csp change it and press enter it is saying a wrong argument okay so there is a missing dot at the end of the syntax So you see the file is copied. Let's go to the root folder and see the file if it is copied. Okay, so the time is changed, but let me delete it and again download the file. Ensure that whenever you copy the file to the local machine, you write this dot here. It is also written in the document that you need to write the dot as it is part of the syntax. Sprint. Now it says that the file is copied. So now you can see that the file is available here. This is how you can download the file from the bucket as well. Next you see content inside bucket we write gsutil ls and the bucket name. As in our case, gsutil my first SDK bucket Let's see what is inside the bucket. So see it shows that this is the file which is present inside the bucket, the file we previously uploaded. In the same way I will check the file inside our other bucket we have in the list. So the same command gsutil ls and the name of the bucket and press enter. And if you remember, this is the file with 50,000 sale record, which we uploaded using the web console for cloud storage. This is how you can check the contents in the bucket. There are a whole bunch of documents available online on the Google Cloud SDK platform. I hope you have learned how to create a bucket load and download the data from the bucket.